Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that I didn't return to you yesterday for this next album review uh, and the one I was going to do after that or a movie review or whatever, but I just got really busy last night. I was actually going out to get some groceries and all that uh, with my mom or whatever, so it was really fucking busy last night, so yeah, things got really busy, so, and sometimes life gets in the way of you doing YouTube videos, so sometimes you gotta just deal with that, I guess, <laughs> but I'm gonna be reviewing today for Slash's new album featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators, which is their new album for the fifth studio album by Slash's in Slash's discography, I meant to say. Uh, so I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators 4 album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this album review. Now, sorry I didn't review it two days ago. I just couldn't because I was a little busy with other things, with other videos, and I didn't know if I was going to be able to find this album. I did eventually find it, like, Friday night and just finished listening to it as of today. So what did I think of this album? Well, it's got some good moments in it. I'll give it that. Uh, Miles Kennedy's vocals in certain songs, I don't know if I'm on board with, but uh, The River is Rising, I really enjoyed that track. That was a really good opener to the album. I did look into the background towards the album, and it said that Miles Kennedy had COVID around the time, which I'm sorry that you had that, bro. Uh, cause I know COVID's pretty fucking serious. At the time he had it, his nose was nasally and congested, so it was hard for him to sing the really high notes that Miles Kennedy usually does. And I like Miles Kennedy's vocal pitches in, even in Alter Bridge, and in his solo work too, because his last album, The Ides of March, is a good album. Uh, it's grown on me a lot more after repeated listens, uh, but River is Rising is getting a 5 out of 5. I still enjoyed the guitar work, the drum work, and Miles Kennedy's vocals had its moments where it was good and mixed uh, iffy kind of stuff and all that, but... Next song is Whatever Gets You By, and I don't know, it felt like an alright song, to me at least, in my opinion, but I think instrumentally it was really good, with the guitars and drum work, so I was not hating this song, I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5, Cest La V, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, not a bad song either. It's a solid track, at least, in my opinion. But basically, I'm just unplugging my charger from my phone. Because uh, it's fully charged. But Cess Levy had its moments where it was good with Miles Kennedy's vocals, and then moments where it felt a little lazy in some areas with Miles Kennedy's vocals, so I don't know if I was on board with this song. It's one of my least favorites, but that's just my opinion. So, 4.5 out of 5 for Cess Uh The Path Less Followed was pretty solid, too. It's another solid track, so after the first song, I think there's certain songs on the album, like tracks 2, 3, 4, 7, and 10 are my least favorites. So, 5 out of 10 songs, I think, were pretty good. Um, so, yeah, The Pathless Falls getting a 4.5 out of 5. It's an alright track. Actions Speak Louder Than Words. Pretty good stuff. Um... I like the meaning behind the song, 
and what it's trying to explain to the listener. Um, but Miles Kennedy's vocals in it sounded spot on good in this song, and I really liked it. So five out of five for me on this one. Spirit Love was pretty good. It had a different sound, which that's a good thing because it's best to mix it up a bit with different sounds for this album. Because if you s s make it seem like the songs are sounding the same, that's where the album has its tendency to basically not sound as great as you think it's going to sound. But uh, Spirit Love was a very good song. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. It was different for me in a good way because there was a lot of mixing production in the song that sounded so different for the other songs that almost sounded samey but uh still five out of five for spirit love fill my world was a little lazy of a track but it it wasn't bad it just miles kennedy's vocals in it sounded fine but it's just the way it's progressing the track as you play on through the song it's like a five and a half minute song it does all right so 4.5 out of 5 april fool call off the dogs really good stuff i really like call off the dogs a lot more but april fool was pretty good too and finally we get to the last track fall back to earth the closing track um it's all right it's almost six and a half minutes long but it's all right for what it is so i'll give it a 4.5 out of 5. overall production mixing and execution slash his new album with miles kennedy and the conspirators uh the four album was had its moments where it was good and it's mixed baggage moments where it's has a few cluster kind of songs that I don't know if I'm on board with. But for what it is, it's a good effort. I'll give them, I'll give Slash this. This was a good album, in my opinion. So overall, I think Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators 4 album was a pretty good listen. I highly recommend you check it out. I was going to buy this album at Target yesterday, but I was like, uh they want fourteen twenty nine for it, so eh, I had the money. I just didn't want it until I listened to the album to be sure if it was good or not. Uh, but maybe I'll go pick this album up and s give it a good hard listen again because maybe my opinion could change in time. But for a score for me for right now. I'm going to give Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators 4 album an 8 out of 10. This was a good listen. It They did pretty good for what it was. Um, not a lot of songs are great, but half of the album is really good. And sorry, I'm getting a text message. I'll have to answer that in a moment after I finish this video up. But yeah, this is a good album for what it is. Uh, they did a good job. Uh, Slash and Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators did a good job on this record. So 8 out of 10 for me. Uh, in my opinion. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators album 4 if you've heard it. And if you enjoyed this album review I made for you guys. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. Like I said, I got really busy going to a lot of places last night. And I wasn't able to get home till like about 10 o'clock. So it was getting pretty late. So I was like, yeah, I'll just do videos tomorrow morning or whatever. But anyways, I hope you did find this review to be enjoyable. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. I will have... Um, more, I think, two more reviews coming out soon. One's for the new Snoop Dogg album, B-O-D-R. Um, so I'll definitely check it out and give it a good hard listen, because it's like 53, 54 minutes. 
So it's a little longer than this album, but this was a good album. I was really surprised. I thought I was not going to like some songs off it, but most of the songs didn't do so bad. So it's a good effort from them. Uh, not to say in a bad way, just in a good way. It's good for what it is, is what I'm meaning to say. Uh, not good effort, because I was like, eh, maybe I'm kind of bringing them down a bit, but no, I'm not. I'm, I really like Slash's guitar work in most of this album. It's pretty good. Uh, so... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this lengthy album review. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. I'll have the next review coming out in a little bit, and then a movie review later. So stay safe, take care, and as always, I'll see you in my next review.